In this video, I intend to show you where each component of a basic access control system needs to be placed or positioned in a practical setup of an access control system. But let's do a flashback of the basic components you can find in a basic access control system. These are four basic components you should expect in a basic access control system. Number one is an access control device like the MB460 time and attendance terminal. Number two is a locking device like a magnetic lock or a mortise lock. Number three is an exit button. And number four is a power supply unit. So the question we are asking is that where are all these parts supposed to be placed or positioned in a practical setup? I intend to use this door which has an access control installed on it for this demonstration. This is the access control terminal. And as you can see here, they are normally placed at the entrance of the rooms or facilities whose access is to be restricted so that persons that are to be granted access are verified through this terminal. That is why they are placed at the entrance of the rooms where the access is supposed to be restricted. Here is the locking device that is used in this installation. And as you can see here, the locking devices are placed on the door to ensure that the door is always kept inaccessible unless a person is verified through the verification terminal. This is also the exit button. They are normally placed in the room where the access control is installed to enable the opening of the access control system from inside the restricted location where the access control is installed. The power supply is placed at a hidden location. In my case here, it is at a location where the room in which it is also has an access control placed on it. The reason for the placement of the power supply at the secure location is just because an intruder turning off the power supply would end up deactivating the access control locks, thereby compromising access restriction. And so it is very important to strategically place the power supply unit at a safe location, which is beyond an intruder's access. Another very important thing to note is that all cablings have been hidden. As you can see here, there is no cable that is showing. All the cables have been put into a conduit pipe which is buried within the wall. And so, an intruder cannot tamper with the cablings which could result in a possible deactivation of the access control system which may come as a result of damaged cables. And so, it's very important to ensure that all cablings are placed within conduit pipes or placed at points where intruders cannot access. That is very important. There are more interesting videos on my channel. So please visit my channel at www.youtube.com slash at tech underscore inside underscore out. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video.